Hey there, welcome back to Speed Skating Deconstructed. What makes a skater great? Looking at Jonas Berget out of Trondheim, Norway, only a few years on the ice, improving fast, taking everything into account, like really learning, internalizing stuff he sees, watching videos, implementing that in his, in his skating. That is how you improve. And it doesn't matter what level you are. That formula works for everyone. So no matter what level you are as a skater, Learn from all this stuff. Just not my channel, but just go online and find people you like to, to watch and just try to visualize yourself skating as them. And that really helps. Modeling is the fastest form of learning. So we talked last time about this beginning, this start here. And I want to show you from a different angle why it's not effective. And again, there's just not a lot happening. It looks like, you know, you watch it in a in a textbook or something and try to do it but there's just not enough there so again there's up movement and very wide and this you can't see from the side so this is another thing about when you do a start you don't want to be wide so what I mean by wide is that's better than his thousand meter start so this this leg is a little more exhausted to push there but notice where this knee is. And that means this is late. So this drives this. When you drive on the right, off the, uh, on the left, off that first right, you want to make sure that you just grip it and you drive your mass forward. Not your skate. Don't think driving your knee over here or your skate over here. No, your skates come below you. So drive your mass. So off this left drive your mass forward and when you do that what will happen is you'll be out above this skate this skate will come down and you'll be able to load it but as it is there's no load there and notice the big huge wide just not going anywhere fast so mistakes are knee is out instead of forward this skate there's nothing off of it and it just there's there's really no pressure there takes a long time to get into the stride and again it happens that's that's nicer here getting there but again the key thing is do not come up no put it down on the ice and move against that skate hard and when you move against that skate hard off this left do not be wide wide will kill you because you can just see this, there's nothing here. So you have to overcome inertia at the beginning, but you want to do so by really driving off. Your, at that left set down, drive this knee under your chin, just like you do in the regular skating when you're at speed. And then you'll have much less of a straddle and a lot less time basically doing nothing except kind of going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, nothing there. So avoid that by putting power down into the ice, one skate on the ice, exhaust the push, and drive your mass forward. So that's about the start. Now I want to show you something about what I call a triple apex. It's a great effective way to use your turn. So this is a nice setup here. Again, you know, no waste, no transition. Again, good timing, looks, looks nice. For this level of skater, this is very good. But what I want to show you is a dead exit. So here's the apex right here, on top of the turn right here. But notice how there's, it's, it's just, you can just see it's a dead exit. He's done with the turn right there. There's nothing out of that. And it's got nothing to do with fitness or pressure or anything. It has to do with orientation of the turn. So triple apex it. I've used this with skaters for decades and it works. So. We all know there's one apex at the top of the turn, right? So then, what you pretend in your mind is there's another apex at three quarters. Then, there's another apex at the end. So what you want to come down on the apex, then come down on the apex, then come down on the third apex. When you do that, you don't release the pressure or the intensity. It all goes down into the ice and you carry that speed. And what I mean, I'll show you. Instead of just giving it up right here, you carry that speed from here, and it ends up being like this. Instead of coming around, hey, I'm going to join this straightaway here, 
you use the turn and end up deeper into the straightaway. Like you'd end up your turn right here, which is what the best do. So again, a wasted, wasted turn because doing everything right technically in a way for this skater right now, but completely misusing what the turn is for. So enter, nice butt in the middle there, come down on the apex, come down on the apex again, come down on the apex at the end, and you'll slingshot out of here. You'll catapult out of here, and you'll end up with a much better exit. So that's the tips for today for this young skater. We can all learn from this. And I'll see you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. Again, send me videos at my Gmail account or um, just learn from the things we have. And please subscribe and share this channel with others. We'll talk to you soon, and thank you.